piece of overlap between when you're presenting your key idea is that examples in your main weapon, and in fact, in giving a talk, I think they're your pretty much um, your only weapon. Right? You want to uh, um, convey the uh, motivation for your talk and the basic intuitions and showing the idea in action using examples. Um, always start with examples in a talk. Yeah. Even in a paper, for some reason, you feel constrained to give some formal material first. In a talk, you must give examples first, because they're what keep, keep, keep people engaged. And indeed, you may have to omit the general case. It's surprising how often people, uh, maybe they do try to give an example, but they compress it, because what they, as it were, what they see as the main payload of their work, the main delivery, the main thing they're delivering is, but we handle the general case of, you know, N processors of N connections, right? And uh, in full generality, so they feel constrained to present that in their talk. But you don't want to do that. What you want to do in your talk is to show some examples with two processors and two connections, and then you say, ah, you see, it's already tricky. Now imagine how tricky it gets if you add n processors. And if you want to find out how to do that, look at my paper. And by the way, here's a little quick summary of the way we go about it. So you've got them interested to think, ah, here's an interesting problem. I see the way he started it, but I'm going to have to look at the paper for the.